Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode from Salvage Nation. In this episode, I want to take this car for a first proper test drive. And to do that, I need to do a lot of work and that's the plan for this episode. I'm not going to do too much talking, we're going to get straight into it. But before I go, I've just dropped some new merch on the Salvage Nation merch site, shopsalvagenation.com. Go over there, check me out. This is one of the things that I'm going to be really pushing over the next year. 2024 has got to be the year of Salvage Nation and I need your help to make it happen so if you're watching this you're not subscribed subscribe if you like my content hit like and if you want to support the channel head on over to shopsalvagenation.com purchase some merch rep the thing you know how it goes let's get into it so guys we're gonna leave this car here for like 10 minutes I need to head down to my local post office I've got a parcel that came on Saturday it's the headlight for the car I told you I've got a new headlight on the way well it's come let's go get the headlight I'm jumping into the Aston it's right there let's hop in the Aston go collect the headlight come back to the garage get to work just pick this one up let's head back see what this is about Alrighty guys, so I believe this is now the correct headlight. It's got that one slot for a module. It's got the same connectors that I saw and there's nothing on the bottom. In the last episode, I don't know if I ordered it incorrectly or they sent me the wrong one, but I managed to get this one. I need to transfer that old module and hopefully that's still working. That was broken in the boot. Hopefully that's still working. I should have a bumper, but by the end of this episode, I don't care. By the end of this episode, I'm taking this car out, man. We're taking it out. I've got a new replacement foam in the post. Have a look at that. It's all good on that side, but it's just broken on this side. So I'm gonna replace that foam. Um, but for now, let's get the headlight in. There it is. So guys, same blue connector on one side and this black connector on the other side. Get over here. Now this should be coded to the car already. So the car should recognize this module and I'm expecting it to power up once that module is okay. I'm just gonna leave two screws for now and we'll give it a try. Guys, do you think it's gonna work? Is my luck changing on this car? Let's give it a go. Yeah, I see dancing. I saw that. Happy days, happy days, guys. See, lovely. I just saw they've done their little flickering dance. Let's go ahead and buckle this all down. So now that the headlight is finally working, all I had to do is talk everything down. But I just wanted to highlight, a lot of you guys always send me DMs asking if I've got the original ballast or computer module from a broken headlight, will it work? Well, as you can see, it will work. It will not need coding as long as it's the original module from the car. So this is a result for this build. Alrighty guys, headlight has been fitted and I'm happy you've seen it, the headlight is working. I went ahead and I got a replacement water bottle, that's been fitted to the car as well. Everything on this front end is looking good, it's going together well. The only thing is, I'm waiting for that front bumper. Once that front bumper comes, I'm going to do a test fit and then the car is insured, it's taxes is a multi, I want to take it for a little spin around the block to see what's going on. But, let me try to do a test fit with the broken bumper and just see how it looks. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Down in the dumps, bit of super glue. Guys, a little bit of plastic welding, bit of super glue. Man, the comments would be crazy. Imagine if I said I'm gonna stick the other side back on with plastic welding, the comments would go nuts. Salvage Nation does it again. Cowboy, oh my God. <laughs> it's not that deep. Anyway. So yeah guys, it's, it's gonna look um, a, a little bit, it's gonna look a little bit like, like, like this. Just a, li a little bit, yeah. A little bit, a little bit like that. Ta-da! Guys, Salvage Nation does it again. We're ready to hit the streets. Guys, if you close your eyes and just imagine that the panel gaps were a lot better, it don't look too bad, does it? But come around to this side and it's a different story. You can kind of see what's going on here. 
have a look. There's an overlap to the back here. These hinges are completely gone. We're still waiting for hinges in the poles, but you can see because that's pushed up that way, it's got all of these gaps looking a bit shabby. Guys, I've just had a clever idea. What if I actually watch this? Guys, who needs a front bumper? Have a look at this. The power of a bit of masking tape. Isn't it, bro? Little polish and what? A good <laughs> little polish and a good wash, we're good to go. Check it out. Have a look at those body gaps. Guys, it's perfect. Have a look at that front bumper now. Oh my God. Who wants to meet me on the A46? And definitely we don't need any dashboards or anything like that. Little bit of tape there as well. Full valet, all of that is gonna be sorted. Guys, take a look at that. Amazing. Start her up, start her up, man. Let's go. Who needs anything more? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think we'll pass MOT? Do you think they'll notice the tape? Come on. So guys, with the car completely fixed with masking tape, it was finally time to go for our first test drive. Or did we? <laughs> have a listen to this, have a listen to this. Nah guys, I'm only joking. I feel the need to say this. It's a bit sad that I have to say this, but I feel the need to say this. I'm only joking. We're waiting for some parts. So this is where you're gonna take a pause. You're gonna see it just like that. But for me, I'm gonna wait a few days, get the new parts in, continue rebuilding this A35. So I'll see you in a few days. A few days later, I received this in the post along with a few others. All the deliveries are coming in today. Let's get this on wraps. Continue what I'm doing. So guys, now that I've got new parts in hand, it was finally time to get this car looking like an AMG A35 again. But in the last few days, I had a nightmare with the original ballast that I fitted. Once again, it's my fault and I made a massive mistake. I will explain a little bit later on. Stay tuned. Anyway, after I sorted that, here is my replacement front bumper. I picked this up from eBay for £127 plus postage. Fortunately, I had a ton of plastic grills and inner skins from the original bumper, which I was able to reuse for this particular bumper, and that's why I got it so cheap. It's all about maximizing your profits, and it's all about maximizing the parts that you do have in hand. As you can see here, I'm just sticking in some of these inner bumper pieces, and what I'm gonna do is fit some of the grills as well. So with the lower grill fitted, as you can see, I'm just doing a test fit and I deliberately did not install the top grill. I'll explain a little bit more about that later on. I've got something special. I'm actually doing a giveaway for you guys, so stay tuned to see what that's all about. As you can see, I'm just test fitting to make sure that everything's lining up where it should and have a look at the front end now. It looks amazing. All right, so guys, it's a few days later and I've got a couple of key updates. So I've got a brand new headlight module that's come in the post. I'm gonna swap out that headlight module unnecessarily because I made another mistake. I didn't install that little foam gasket like I showed you. There was water ingress into the existing module that I was gassed about, that I didn't have to buy, I ended up having to buy, but I got that one for 60 quid. So I'm gonna get that on the car. I might need to cold it. I can cold it, no problem. Another thing as well is the water pump that you saw, the little auxiliary water pump that I changed earlier on in this series. I kept getting the cold saying that um, there's a general signal issue. So it turns out that that water pump is incorrect. It needed a quite a big a water pump check this out so guys check this out in here we've got that replacement headlight module i'll get that on the car but i went down to my guys german car repairs they can actually order in directly from the dealers as well this is the correct water pump for this car and they went ahead and they sized me up a connector clip so all i need to do is connect this to the car get it in and it should be the correct model they ordered this in directly from mercedes based on my reg so i'm fully confident that this is the correct part with all of that said let's get these bits on the car tidy up a few things and we're going to get this car out for first test drive so guys off comes this bumper yet again and that's why i didn't do a full assembly on it because i know it's going to be constantly changing so guys this is or was my original module and yeah i messed it up because i forgot to check for this little it's a foam gasket and it goes on the inside of this headlight there's a little groove in there and that makes contact with the rim of this bad boy and it makes a watertight seal i forgot to check for that the first time around and yeah i destroyed this by accident the so one day it rained and yeah I need to get a new one, so let's fit it. So 
So guys, when I fitted the first one, that one, in all of my excitement about the car and the emotion on the day, I was rushing, I got it on, I didn't fit the gasket like I said, I was missing two screws and I paid the price. This time, I'm taking my time, I've fitted everything as it should, the gasket is in, I've torqued down all four screws, let's get it on the car, let's see if I need to do any coding. If I need to do any coding, the computer that I've got, it literally just reads this one, if you look here, it says LED code, you literally just read that and it does it instantly. So I'm good with coding these Mercedes headlights as well. Not only BMWs guys, not only BMWs. So let's get this fitted and then we're gonna go down here and I wanna show you the differences between this pump and the pump that I just picked up. So guys, happy days. It doesn't seem like we need any coding. The light has worked straight away, but I'll know more once I stick it on the computer. This is the correct water pump. Have a look. It clearly gets really hot. It's got all of these heat fins at the bottom. And if you look at this one, this is a baby water pump in comparison to this bad boy here. It's cost a lot more. This was 165 pound, including VAT. So 130 plus VAT, 162, I believe it was. Um, so yeah, let's get this on the car. And hopefully it fires up. Once it's on, I'll stick it on the diagnostic and check for any colds with this and the headlight. So guys, the method that I'm using here, I use it for all of my wiring work is wrap, solder, heat shrink, and then tessa tape. It's worked over the years for me. I've never had any issues. I know some of you are gonna disagree, but it works. Alright guys, so new pump in place. I've got it all soldered up and I've added some heat shrink. I've got some tester tape, I'll sort that out later on. Whilst I was doing that, I had the diagnostic machine going and as you can see, the two codes associated with that coolant pump has now changed to stored. Before they were all saying current and stored. The only one that says current and stored is the radar and that's because the radar is unplugged, I've got that in the boot. But now these two have changed to stored, so mean that it's a past code. So guys, as you can see, when I read it again, the only DTC that's in the system is communication with the radar sonics. And like I said, that's unplugged. So I'm happy about that. But there's one more thing I can do to make certain that my new pump is working. And if I go to actuation tests on this diagnostic tool, it should give me a test. Where is it? Um, yep. Charge air cooler circulation pump and F2 to turn it on. Yep. I don't know if you can hear that. If you can see that on the inside spinning, so I'm happy about that. And it actually says, when the actuation is started, component M44 starts audibly. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm sure you can see that inside spinning on the camera. There it is, happy days. Coolant pump is working. And yeah, it's always important, guys. I try to cut corners, don't try to cut corners. No, always get the original part, which I did. Happy about that. So let's get that connected up and get the car out of here. So once I confirmed that everything was finally working on this auxiliary water pump, all I had to do is swap it out, put it back into the bracket, tighten it down, and then I topped up the reservoir with a little bit of coolant. So guys, have a look at it. Um, the front end is coming together really nicely. I was about to put the front bumper on, but then I was thinking, why not just put the parking sensors in? Um, I've got one broken wire here, but fortunately in the broken bumper, I found this. This is really, I'm really happy to see this. This is the missing parking sensor and it's got the plug. I just need to fix the wires. So I'm gonna fix that, get it on. And here's the radar. And then when we take it for a test drive, I can test to make sure that everything is working on that. On the front grill, the car didn't come with the original grill. It came with the Pan American grill and I've got one. Actually, I've got two. I'm gonna be giving one away to you guys. Stay tuned to see what that giveaway is all about. And I've got big news once I'm finished with this build and <laughs> a lot of other builds. I've been working in the background. I've got some important news to share. But anyway, let's get all of this fixed up. Get all the parking sensors tucked into the bumper, get the bumper on the car. So here's that one broken sensor wire and with the power of editing, here is the finished product. With all of that done, have a look in the boot of the car. I've got two of these boxes. One is for me for this build and the other one, I'm going to be giving it away to one of you lucky guys. Stay tuned to see what are the conditions for this giveaway and the winner is going to get this absolutely for free. However, you do need to be subscribed to the channel. So if you're not subscribed, pause the video right now, go subscribe and stay tuned. Later on in the series, I'm gonna drop all the info on that giveaway. Guys, take a look at that. I've got the radar in and I've got the parking sensors in, but it's missing one little thing. Ah, guys, if this was a black car, that would've been it. Look at that. Right, let's start it up and make sure that those parking sensors are working. Let's see what the diagnostic is saying. Let's go. So lights have just done their little dance. I love that. Put it in reverse. You can see it's working, guys, it's working. 
Parking sensors are now working, happy days. On the older Mercedes, you would have had to clear the codes, but all of these new cars, they kind of just pick up where you left off kind of thing. Have a look, everything, sat nav is all working. Slowly guys, slowly, one by one, we're just tackling all the issues. The next big step is I need to get an airbag kit. I went down to my local breakers, funny enough, Redcorn, they've actually got one. They've given me a decent enough price. I'm gonna go have a look at it later on. But for now, I want to take this car out. I've noticed one more thing, one more thing. Have a look at this. So I killed brought it to my attention. And all the time I've had the car here, I've been focusing on the ECU and all these other bits. But this wing looks like it's in good condition. Have a look all the way from the back. And right here, oh my God, we just tried to buckle it up. And on the inside, there's a little tab right there that connects to this bumper and it's broken. You can see it's completely missing right there. So we're going to have to change this wing. We're going to have to change it. And this wing is PPF'd. I thought I could just use this wing but yeah we're gonna have to get a new wing the good thing is on the a35s a45s and the regular a classes the w177 chassis they're all the same panels so i should be able to pick one up for not too much it just means we have to spray it this guy told me i didn't even realize so we're gonna put some tape there put some tape on the other side get it all buckled up and get the car out today we got quite a lot done have a look at the front in there the car is all buckled up. Tomorrow I'm gonna to come in, we're gonna head out and take the car for a test drive. So I'll see you in the morning. So guys, couldn't wait, took the drone up. Let's go around the block, see what I've won. So far, so good. Look at that night shot, oh, it looks sick. So I ended up putting the camera down and I just let the drone do its thing. Have a look guys, we are actually driving this car. It's only been about a week's worth of work. But as you can see on this build, I've been pumping out content and I've been working super hard to get this car driving. Now, at the end of this build, I'm either gonna be selling this car or I'll be raffling it to one of you guys. Let me know what I should do with it. So guys, that was a success. The car is driving really nicely. The wheels are all straight. No engine lights have come up there. Radio, everything on the inside of the car is working. Obviously, it's missing the airbag kit. But yeah, now we can go home. Now I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that, why don't you check out one of my previous videos on the left. There's plenty in the playlist. And if you want to know more about the Salvage game, why don't you become a member of Salvage Nation and I'll be there to guide you along the way. And don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, TikTok and Instagram if you want to get an inside scoop before YouTube.